Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, and we're back with another video, and this is my entire toy haul from both the Marovo Exchange and Freebie, free action figures alike. But before we look at the Monroeville Exchange toy haul, we're going to look at our freebie figures first and foremost. And I didn't pay a dime for these. I actually found them. But someone was getting rid of them. Oh, I didn't pay a dime for them, and they were cheap. So yeah, nothing better than free toys. In my career, anyway. So let's take a look at what we got here. First on the list, we have this wooden doll which you paint to make look like it look like a human female. And it's on ratchet joints, metal ones. And it's made of wood that bends and is well articulated. And it's just good to have something like this in my collection. I've never had this in my collection before. I look forward to showing you the figure when I fully paint it, but we are starting to work on painting this girl into something pretty. I'm not a very good artist when it comes to drawing female characters, but I will state this much. It's going to look pretty good when I get done with it. I can draw clone troopers very well, but doing the female form is not my expertise. So, yeah. It'll be a nice figure when it's done and in the collection. But now we're going to go put it off in the baskets. Why not? Dare I say, why not? Next on the list, we got the Star Wars. Bubble Bath, Boba Fett, and Darth Vader. Boba Fett on the job. I sense a disturbance in the force. I couldn't help the Star Wars impressions. <laughs> Many of you know I am a huge Star Wars fan. Next on the list, we got a Funko Pop keychain. I got this for free as well. The random basket, why not? This is going up for this week's review. It's the little display figure my Hero Academia, All Might, I am here. That's my Hero Academia All Might impression. Pretty good. <laughs> Do say so myself. We got a plastic color snake. You might. I'm not very good at snakes, so that's my best impression. Of course, we got these. Christmas Pez Dispenser plushes. Look forward to reviewing those as well. So far, a little epic toy haul, if I do say so myself. This character, I don't know what line she's from, but it's a little kid's doll. I didn't pay a dime for her. She was free, so why not? Say why not. And she does have some articulation. Not much, but some. And her head can move. Never say no to action figures, especially if they're free and you don't pay a dime. Why not? We got this little monkey genie. Kind of cute, in a sense. And that's some of the interesting figures from the random stuff. We got, of course, some Disney figures. We got Elsa, at least two of her. I don't have these versions. They're probably going to sit in my random Disney collection. And good old Thumper from the 90s Disney movie. Why not? Dare I say why not? Next on the list, we got this little pencil eraser skateboard. Dude. Awesome. And this is the last boy thing we have in there. I got this from my work with fuel perks I saved up. It's a monster ball. You squeeze him, and his brains pop out of his head. Man, that is cool and fun looking. Look forward to reviewing that. 
Next, we got these little people figures. We got a unicorn, a, a little, not troll, dwarf, female dwarf. Why not? We got that for free as well. And we got a couple of fairies. Why not? And these are little people figures. Newer ones, anyway, but I recognize them. And we got these little toys to go with the play set, which we will be showing off. Speaking of the play set, here it is. The one play set I didn't expect I'd be picking up for free. But given I couldn't say no to a free toy from Fisher Price, little people. And this is definitely going to go on my fantasy shelf. For sure. Not a bad looking piece, if I do say so myself. And now we're on to our toy haul from the Monroeville Exchange, man. Sorry if I have to drop it out on the table. It's the only way I can get everything out of the bag. And you're probably wondering, where is the Monroeville Exchange? Well, if you live here in Pittsburgh, the exchange is out in Monroeville, Pennsylvania. And that's where I got all these toys for 95 bucks. And that's a bargain since I have a hundred buck review budget. First on the list with our first figure, we have Ultron 12 inch from Marvel. I look forward to reviewing that for sure. We got Sleepy Hollow's Headless Horseman. And yes, he's supposed to be headless because he's the horseman, the horseman from Headless Horseman. And I love this figure. And I'm so glad to add another figure to my horror shelf. And the Headless Horseman will be part of my horror collection for a very long time. If I ever find a black horse, he's definitely going with it. Next on the list, we got this female Dark Elf. We got this character, also an elf, future elf, with a gun. I don't know who these characters are, but if you know, please leave me a comment. I'd like to know who they are, because I have no clue who these characters are. Given I got them for three bucks, I'd say that they were worth the money. Why not? Say why not? Next on the list, we have some Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin, second movie, Alpha 5. Ay ay ay, Zordon. And that's my original Alpha 5 impression. So I have Alpha 5 for my Power Rangers collection. Why not? Say why not. And we got another 90s vintage Mighty Morphin Flip and Change Blue Ranger. And this is the original version. And that's a nice figure I found for three bucks. Next on the list, we have this Transformers figure from a line of blind bags. I can't remember the series, but we got Shrapnel and Bumblebee for the collection. Why not? Dare I say, why not? Toys are toys in my career. Get lucky and find some for free. And go to a collector's store and pick up more. And they're worth the money. Especially if you're paying half the price of what you pay in the stores. I paid no money down on these. And we got Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen, Long Haul, for the Devastator. 
So that's our first three Transformers. We got Transformers Robots in Disguise Autobot Blur. And I was so glad to find it. I only paid 10 bucks for it. Next on the list, we got this GoBots figure. Yeah, I think it's a GoBot, but if you know, then please leave me a comment. It might be a fast food GoBot, for all I know, since I'm not familiar with the whole GoBots cartoon series and all the characters, except for Scooter and Sidekill. Why not? And it transforms into a little spaceship. Why not? Say why not? We got Big Hands, Luke Skywalker. May the Force be with me. It's a pretty good impression, if I do say so myself. And last but not least, we got this Beetle Transformer. I don't know it's from any line I'm familiar with, but it's not from any line I've ever heard of or seen before. It might be GoBots, it might be Transformers. If you know, leave me a comment, and I would appreciate it. Got that for three bucks, for like five bucks. Next on the list, we have DC Green Lantern Movie Kilowog. So I got another Justice League considered member. Why not? There I say, why not? And another Galactic Heroes Clone Trooper. Awesome. Next on the list, we got these Mickey D's. I think they're Mickey D's. Beyblade figures. I'll throw those with the All Might that I'm going to be reviewing together. So that'll be tomorrow's video. I'm sorry I didn't get onto it today. Because by the time I got back home, I was focusing on dinner and taking care of dogs and getting to them and throw a little exchange and back. But I think I scored some epic figures today. And I look forward to my next toy hunt at the good old Ollie's. Ollie's. Good stuff. Cheap. And we got to stand for our G.I. Joe Neo Viper. Why not? And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. And rock on and rock out. YouTube land.